Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles love reading for my dearest Aquarius. Aquarius, um, if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And just a friendly reminder, I am available for private reading, so if you're after one, I do have those links in the description box down below. So let's get started. Let's see what's going on for my, for my single Aquarians out there. All right, so some of you, the nine of, uh, the nine of Cups in Reverse and the Queen of Wands, okay, you're fiery, you're passionate. Um, some of you too, you're putting yourselves out there. Um, maybe you've been through a breakup or a separation or you've just been feeling a bit emotionally drained, um, but you're really putting yourselves out there. In the past, you have this Emperor energy, possibly an Aries. What you don't see, the Nine of Wands, okay? And we've got the Hermit card. Wow, Virgo energy. And we've got the King of Pentacles. You have some sort of stable connection coming your way. Um, and maybe some of my aquas that might take you by surprise because I feel like with the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Cups in reverse, like you're kind of not too focused on like stability and commitment at this time. You're more focused on having fun. You're more focused on spending time with friends and family, just having a really good time. You know, just living your best life is what I'm getting. Um, we see that, yeah, Four of Pentacles, maybe you've been, you were holding back for a little bit and healing. Yeah, but I kind of feel like with this Queen of Wands in reverse, maybe you're healing from, you know, being put in some sort of third party situation. But I kind of feel like my Aquarians out there, like you're, you're like looking for love, but you're also just kind of enjoying the process and like dating and having fun and putting yourselves out there um, and, and healing. And in your past, you have this Aries energy, this Emperor energy and the Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles. So you might have been dealing with somebody here who wasn't single. So maybe you felt like they had your life on hold for a bit um, or somebody here who just wasn't really giving much to the connection. I know I do see you, you see this person as, you know, Emperor energy. So it's somebody who had a lot to offer. Um, but it maybe this person just spent all their time working and, and they didn't really like take you out or spend time with you. I'm also seeing too, like they, yeah, for some of you, they, they may have been a single parent and that, you know, it just feels like this person, this emperor energy didn't have enough time for you or wasn't putting enough time and effort into the connection. Um, it may have also been a toxic situation. But what you don't see is like, I feel this is your energy. You're letting your guard down. Um, I feel a lot of you, you've been exhausted by what you've been through and it's kind of like you just want to cut loose or let loose. I am seeing the number sequence nine, nine. Actually, we have four nines here. We have the nine of cups, the nine of pentacles, the nine of wands and the hermit card number nine. So pay attention to nines because this is your destiny. And I feel a lot of you, like you're just letting your guard down. You're not too married to the outcome with anybody. Although, are you looking for love? Yes. But like, are you, are you determined to find it like, you know, this week? Not really. And I, I really like that energy because I feel like you're just sort of having a good time. And um, there's going to be a major breakthrough here. And a lot of you, you're not going to see it coming because you're, you've just kind of stopped focusing on, on finding the one, right? And just having a good time, living your best life, having a really high vibration. But I think you're going to be moving very quickly into a commitment, possibly with a Virgo, although it doesn't have to be but with somebody who's single and somebody who's available. And I feel like it's going to take you by surprise. So we have somebody here, this Virgo energy, somebody most likely that you're going to end up in a higher level of commitment with. Be careful of um, unexpected pregnancy here. But with the Ten of Cups, uh, I, I see this person. Um, wow, this this person, they're, they're, this is somebody you're going to end up with. This is the divine interfering. Now, we do have the king of cups showing up in reverse. So some of my aquas, too, like you might feel like this person doesn't like give emotionally at first when you meet them. They could be a little bit stoic or you're not you when you first meet this person. I don't think you're going to think like, oh, my gosh, we're going to get married or this is my person. But I do think that this is your person and I think it's going to take you by surprise. And again, I feel like the main takeaway here from the messages are you're living your best life. You're in a really high vibration. You're calling in somebody who's unsuspectingly like your person. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting there. 
Um, now your person, it does look like they're single and they're available. It does look like though they have been hurt in love in the past. So again, I think they've been taking time to heal, but I do think this is also a very balanced person at the same time. So we'll go to the Oracle messages here. And uh, for my Aquarius, there's a potential in a person or a situation to develop into something in the future. How you approach it is up to you. And I think this is like your person here, Aquas. You know, I think there's gonna be an initial spark, but like it's gonna develop into something in the future. Like you're not gonna quite see it initially. Like maybe you think it's fun, maybe you think they're sexy or whatever. But I, I just kind of feel like you're not really like totally hell bent on finding that life partner or making this your life partner. But I feel like it just it's unassuming and it just kind of happens naturally. All right. Yeah. And we see pain is fuel. So this is my aquas out there who have really been doing the work, transmuting your energy, learning from the past. So all that pain, all that suffering, all that confusion use it as fuel and transform your troubles into gold. So you really truly are the alchemists here. And I feel like you're, you're healing. And I love your energy. It's like an enviable energy, right? Because it's like you're living your best life. You're not gonna let what you've been through hold you, hold you back or hold you down. All right, so let's see. We have your, your past person. I'm wondering if this emperor energy, my lunch card can also be kind of more of a platonic energy. So where they, you know, I don't know, like the, maybe the passion was gone because this person didn't really put the time and effort into the connection. And yeah, there may have been gossip around this connection, especially if your person was involved because for some of you, this was somebody who was married or involved with someone else. And you know, that's why it couldn't kick off or get off the ground. Um, yeah, and at the bottom of the deck, we do have this in and out energy. So somebody here who is really quite wishy-washy with you, Aqua. All right, so it looks like that's in the past, um, but you've learned from that. You've transformed your troubles into gold. You're in a super high vibration. There's gonna be a breakthrough. And I, I think you're unsuspectingly moving towards higher level of commitment. Yeah, look at this action energy on top of the chariot card. Get ready. There's going to be major breakthroughs. There's going to be some serious action in your love lives. And it's this because you've opened and willingly walked through this door to personal healing and happiness, Aqua. So we all could take a page out of your book. Like you are, you are all doing what we need to be doing, right? Or those of you who are resonating with this reading. So it looks like you've got somebody coming in here. Endings bring new beginnings. So this is somebody who's also maybe in a transitional phase. They are single. It does look like they've you know experienced their fair share of difficulties in love, but they're they're getting back out there as well. So I don't think they're carrying a lot of baggage around with them. And there's potential for a lot of abundance in this connection. And I love that because you know obviously it could be financial wealth and abundance, but I think this is what you're manifesting. And you're manifesting it because you're not too focused on like what you don't have. Um, you're focused on you. And I love that. And like I said, this is such inspirational and beautiful energy Aquarius. So for those of you who are still resonating with this reading, thank you because like this energy helps all of us. All right, let's see. What else do we need to know about this person, this like potential life partner, soulmate energy here? So yeah, it, this person is not interested in a serious involvement at this time. And I think a lot of you aren't really either, but this begins as a friendship or friendship is vital to this connection. And it's definitely gonna evolve into something a lot more. I love that repeating message. This person may be a fellow air sign, Libra energy. So fairness and harmony in relationships is important to them. They're ruled by Venus, they enjoy beauty. And we see also Taurus energy. So some really, really strong bougie energy here um, with this Venusian energy. They're stable. They enjoy aesthetics and comfort. They're loyal. They're kind. Um, they can be a little bit stubborn. Now at the bottom of the deck, we do have your ex. So for some of you, you do have your ex returning. It's been coming through in a lot of readings. Not sure why that is. If there's a transit, an astrological transit right now that's sort of, you know, uh, highlighting that for a lot of us. But... Let's see, how are you going to, but I'm reading this as somebody brand new for you. Um, this person is, uh, they go by a nickname. I'm also seeing somebody who might have a junior at the end of their name. Okay, not for all of you, of course. Um, they may have a severe allergy and they may have an imperfection in their speech. 
All right, which can come from many different things. You know, the language you speak with them may not be their, you know, may not be their first language is what I'm hearing. And they have been extremely hurt by a loved one in the past. And that's that King of Cups energy because they've also been focusing on like transmuting their energy and healing. So I also feel that's where you two really connect because you're in that similar energy. All right, let's see clear messages, advice and guidance. All right, so this is spirit saying, you know what, Aquas, you have real feelings. You share true romantic feelings that are definitely worth exploring. Time apart, a time of separation. So that could indicate it's going to take a little bit more time to come together. Um, some of you too, this person might do a lot of traveling for work, or maybe there's distance between you two that, you know, you don't actually get to spend every day, all day with each other. And, but as you spend more time together, <laughs> I love this energy because we get this, it's, a, it's just a reiteration of what I was getting that this may begin as a friendship and evolve over time. And as you get to know each other, you discover many things in common. And I think this is like really truly your person. At the bottom of the deck there, we have twin flame union. So it is a very strong soulmate connection. Whatever label you're gonna give it, there's gonna be, you know, you're gonna be grateful. It's gonna be blissful. Um, there's abundance here for the both of you. And, and I feel like, again, it's, it's really unsuspecting. It's something that you're not, that you're not expecting here. So important times, uh, spirit saying it's not too late to make changes, which I'm not really seeing you having to change your energy by any means. It's just like you keep doing the work, Aqua, keep living your best life. And some of you, we get August energy. So again, somebody here could be an August Leo, but we also have Virgo energy or an August Virgo. But it is going to happen this year. And I see something really beautiful, stable, secure, and also divinely orchestrated coming your way. All right, Aquas, I'm going to leave it here. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.